Grade A under A might be in trouble. Hey guys, welcome to IO. I'm Charlotte, thanks for tuning in. So I'm sure many of you know now that there are some changes coming to YouTube. They have changed their terms of service in an attempt to regulate the harassment and online bullying we are all so accustomed to on YouTube. They plan to remove malicious harassment that has been reported. Unfortunately, if you're mildly annoying, that cannot be reported. So you can't just report me, unfortunately. Smile. Forms of harassment may include abusive videos, comments and messages, and deliberately posting content in order to humiliate someone and also making hurtful and negative comments or videos about another person. So I guess it's safe to say that most of YouTube might have to rebrand. This change especially targets certain YouTubers who have gained popularity from posting this kind of content. And that includes grade A under A. Olivia's here. Some are saying that this goes against freedom of speech, but in all honesty, freedom of speech does not mean freedom to be a douchebag for no good reason. You hate us. I'm also wondering how they will decide what is categorized as hurtful or harassment. Where do you draw the line? What about satire? A huge aspect of comedy is making fun of other people. A very large majority of grade A under A's videos are about grilling other YouTubers. It is also a popular topic on YouTube. YouTubers are making those videos because you guys want to see that stuff. You love drama. You love it when people get made fun of. Let's face it, a lot of popular YouTubers are just trolls that make videos. It is part of the culture here on YouTube. I mean, just think about some of the most popular comment trends, like kill yourself or drink bleach for example. I'm not sure when it became okay for people to tell other people to commit suicide, but it's a very popular thing to say to someone that you dislike on YouTube. Also, being offended by something is completely subjective too. People are so sensitive these days, they get offended for no damn good reason. Theoretically, you could just report someone because you dislike them, not because you're hurt by what they said about you. Does this mean that YouTube itself could be in trouble after these terms of service changes. I want to know, would you guys still watch YouTube if it means some of your favorite YouTubers will have to change their approach to making videos? Why don't you let me know down there in the comments below. Okay guys, that is all for now. Follow IO on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow me on Snapchat at Charlotte Dobre. And if you would like to keep watching IO, there's some more great videos for you right over here.